Hello and welcome back to another episode of Game Brigade. I'm your host Brian, and on this show we do reviews, previews, and playthroughs of your favorite games. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And although I keep saying we do reviews, previews, and playthroughs, today we're doing an unboxing video again. I really enjoy unboxing videos. I think they're a lot of fun to check out some new content. I recently picked these up at my local game store and uh, very impressed that they had these in stock. And uh, I will actually put their link down below if you ever want to check out a local store that has pretty good deals uh, and with exclusive uh, Kickstarter content as well. Uh, you, you never know, shop local. That's what I always say, shop local if you can. I recently uh, had a gift card for my birthday and uh, haven't been able to use it for a few months. So today I stopped, not today, but this week, I stopped into the game store and I saw that they had Everdell Collection Collector's Edition. And uh, while I originally wasn't planning on buying the two expansions, Pearl Brook and uh, Spirecrest, the fact that they had one collector's edition of each, I had I, you have to just buy them, right? So I did, and I thought it would make uh, an interesting unboxing video. So here we are. So please sit back, relax, enjoy the content, and let's go ahead and check out the Everdell Collection. So first off, uh, in case anyone's wondering, yes, I'm aware that there is another game in this collection, but I don't believe it's been released as a collector's edition. So I'm not worried about buying that as of right now. I'm happy to go ahead and get this um, and start with my Everdell collection. Secondly, before we get too far, I am, I'm always in the process, of, if you guys, you've been watching my show, you know this. I'm always in the process of improving the channel, improving the quality of the content, uh, having as many camera angles or views as I can. And uh, for this unboxing, I've actually ordered more equipment. It should be here hopefully next week or this earlier this week. I don't know, it's gonna come, it's coming soon. It'll be here before the next unbo unboxing video. But uh, I wanted to have another camera here to showcase some of the details on miniatures or bits and bops. Um, while Everdell isn't necessarily like a miniature heavy game, I wanted to have this option. So we're gonna have another camera here. We've got the upper camera there, which is gonna get a new arm. And then we've got, of course, my main roll. So hopefully this isn't distraction. It's gonna be new for me to get used to having a, a piece of technology right in front of me. Um, but I think this will be overall a decent experience. So with the, all that said, we're gonna go ahead and break the plastic seal here and open this box. All right. Oh, I have uh, been looking at getting Come on, Brian. What did I say about cutting out me unwrapping boxes? My gosh, this is just awful. Okay. Now that that's out of the way, first off, let's take a look at this box. It's got a glossy uh, exterior slip cover uh, with all the art, and we can slip this off. And we're gonna just put that to the side for now. And then here we have the front cover, which then also says collector's edition on it. And so it says collector's components on the back are back here, but we will use this camera to look at it. It says it includes 30 metal point tokens, 20 wooden occupied tokens and stickers, six wooden wraps, one deluxe eight-sided die, 15 extra extra cards, 10 legendary cards, and three rug work cards. So that's the extra components of the Everdell Collector's Edition. So let's go ahead and open this. Take a look inside. Okay, so as I was saying, I have been wanting to add Everdell to my collection for a while now actually and I just never 
pulled the trigger probably because my focus right now is less retail related and, and, and been more Kickstarter related looking for more Kickstarter exclusive games um, but I think there's great deals that you can get in retail so first off we have this uh, little catalog it says spring 2019 showing uh, some of their current games just advertisements we're going to push that to the side we have our rule of play here it's got really nice high quality it's got a thicker paper to it it's got a glossy finish basically showing all the components to the game has a good little um, flavor text area here a new year begins so yeah I mean the rule book looks pretty good and looks like it's pretty well uh, laid out talks about solo rules you have your solo great so we've got our rule book next we have Everdell collector's edition check that out see if you can see that here really cool so the collector's edition kind of talks about the legends expansion what I should expect and some of the changes by having this collector's edition which is really cool nice assembling the ever tree just more components okay so all right let's I need some room here I have no room this arm takes up a lot of room so need to figure out how to navigate it effectively without crashing into everything all right let's see if we can spread this board out okay so I'm hoping that the overhead camera here can get you a good view of this um, but what we have here is we have the tree location will go here I believe this is where your open uh, cards are located you can purchase from and and this is a worker placement game so you have these locations here uh, through the map that you can then uh, place your workers on and then the expansion will add um, territories to this map and also actually changes some of these worker placement locations around a little bit uh, really like the board it's nice and flat which is great I always get nervous when I'm buying cardboard boxes or cardboard boards I just have a bad luck of getting warped boards so interior wise we've got stickers these are occupied token stickers Occupy token stickers and then we have the punch board so this is where you build your tree and one of the reasons I liked this game so much is the board presence that Everdell has when you've got the tree all set up and in place the game just commands the attention of the room and I really like the way it looks I mean I think it's just a really interesting design and game and the way that they built the tree into the actual gameplay mechanics is very interesting so we have obviously punch we've got our victory points the occupy tokens uh, we have over here uh, more of these victory point uh, these are looks like um, action points that you can take take so our action spots worker placement spots we'll place those over here okay so we've got some of the art the other thing let's move this aside for now or use this camera the whole reason we have this set up the other thing that I really like about this game is the art I'm a sucker for art I think good art is appreciate something we should be appreciating and championing as much as possible whenever Whenever a developer rewards us with great art, I want to support them with, uh, you know, my purchases. So let's take a look. So we have uh, some cards here. Um, you can see some of this art and design here. Yeah, I really like this art. I love the whimsical creatures. It almost reminds me of Redwall. I bet that's kind of where they got the idea of this. You know, when I was a child, we, we, we read Redwall in sixth grade. So, has that new card smell, which is kind of interesting. I like how they have names, historian, husband. 
Where's the wife? Innkeeper. The judge. Look at that turtle. He looks like he's a good judge. I think he knows what he's doing. The king. The rat king. So we have a lot of different art. I, I don't know necessarily which ones are, say, exclusive cards. So I could show you the Kickstarter, or not the Kickstarter, the uh, Collector's Edition ones, unless they're in a different pile. So let me see if those are, because I have another pile of cards here. This, this is a smaller pack here, which makes me think that they are potentially the exclusive cards. The Scru Scribble Champion, Scrubble Champion, that's their football game, I guess. The Town Crier, Carnival, the Gazette. Are these, I wish I knew. Okay, these have to be the, these have to be them. Yeah, because uh, this I believe is for sure an exclusive card. So you have the Flame Noble Tail. Poe. Foresight. I apologize for the constant autofocus. It's we'll keep working out all the uh, the cracks in the in the system as this goes on. As I learn the best way to run the system, I uh, you know I just really want to bring you guys the best unboxing content you can. I know unboxing content can be hit or miss sometimes depending on the game and and the contents of that game. So. We got our cards. Those are over there. Now we've got we've got more cards here. These are US mini American size cards, it looks like. Put that there. Let's take a look at these. So these are um, they look like they could be like hidden objectives. Is what they kind of what kind of looks like i haven't fully read all the rules of this game yet i have a rough idea how the game plays um before i bought it i, I had a good idea if it would be a good fit for our play group because i was looking for something that would be um kind of a different take on uh the animal animal games uh we bought root we bought root a couple years ago maybe two years ago maybe here and a half ago because I liked the way Root, uh, its art style was presented, and I felt like it didn't, it wasn't as big of a hit in my play group as I wanted it to be. Uh, we loved the art of Root, but we didn't get uh, as much enjoyment out of it as I liked. So, here we go. Here's Everdell. Let's try it. So, first we have black meeples. They look like rats. Nice and wooden, heavy meeples. I mean, they're, they only have a good amount of them. So the rats, we'll put those back in their baggie. Maybe not. We'll just slide them to the side. They don't want to go back. We have some metal coins. Oh, these, these are heavy. And they just say three on both sides. These are able to go back into the bag. Okay. Here's that custom die. This is kind of cool. Check that out. Almost reminds me of Damascus. Damascus steel. That's kind of what it looks like. Seems like it works pretty good. We've got an eight. And a one seems like it works just fine. Uh, looks like wood here. I don't think I'm gonna take all of these ones out, but we'll take a few out. So these are like wood tokens. I 
these are very light. Very, very light. You could easily see losing those. Gotta make sure. Berries. Oh, these already feel interesting. The plastic weight of these are very interesting. Oh, they're plasticky. Look at that. They're squishy. These are a choking hazard for young children. So please be aware of that if you have young children. But these are amazing. They're little blackberries. Look at that. They have a little detail inside. I don't know if you can see that. They have some detailing inside. Great. Sweet. Little berries. Things like that. When you have components that are really high quality components, uh, it brings people into the game more. So, oh, we have even more. Okay, so we have more coins. These are ones. These are ones. And then here we have wood. Part of our resources that you collect. These feel plastic. Well, maybe they're wood. Maybe it's actually wood. They have a very interesting exterior feel. I believe this is the amber. This is, um, I don't want to lose this because it doesn't have a Ziploc bag until I reseal it. So I'm going to leave this sealed, but they feel like a hard plastic. It's probably like, oh, here we go. And then our stones. These are really nice too. This is really nice. These are incredibly uh, soft, very smooth plastic. those back in there so those are all the resources and then we have uh, we have a bunch of baggies okay now that we do have a I found a baggie let's go ahead and crack open the amber now that we have a way to store it we can crack open this and see what's it look like inside okay let me get our baggie ready okay yeah that's just hard amber you can see it's kind of got different ge geometrical cuts in it to kind of make them look like they stand out a little bit different. It's cool. Cool. And then we have, it looks like our custom insert. Oh, I'm losing amber. There we go. We got one more. Okay. And then we have, I wonder why the black... Were the black ones custom? Were they were they Kickstarter or not Kickstarter? I keep saying that. Were the black ones um, collector's edition? Because these guys are all in one giant baggie. So we have a bunch of bunch of dudes here. We got the red guys. Looks like squirrels. We've got the white guys. Potentially these could be mouse. These are mice, right? Those are mice because of the tail. I originally was going to say bunny because of the ears, but the tail makes me feel like it's a mouse. Put those there. Uh, porcupine or hedgehog? What would you guys say? Is that a porcupine or is that a hedgehog? Or am I completely off base? Is that some other woodland creature that I have no idea of what it is? And then this looks like a turtle, right? Turtle? That's got to be a turtle. Yeah, turtle. And that's that's all of the wooden meeples in Everdell. And that that's everything in Everdell. Nothing hidden in the insert. So we will then take a look at the next expansion. So I believe in order of appearance, the next one that came out was Pearlbrook. So we will do Pearlbrook next. Let's go ahead and seal this up. Oh, the box feels great. Kind of stinks because I almost like the original art here with the collector edition visible than the slip cover. What do you guys think? Do you like the slip cover or do you like the original box? Let me know. I'd love to know. Okay, so Pearlbrook. Let's bring this on over. And take a look inside.
when I do the un unwrapping like I should, it, it goes so much smoother. So this has a really great, man, it's got a really cool feel to it. The different, um, the different things have different textures, like the seaweed and the, and the main cover up here. All, these all have a very different feel. And then of course you can see uh, collector's edition down here. I'll go and show you a better cover here. So you can see collector's edition with art by Andrew Beasley. Thank you, Andrew. Okay, so this, I believe, if my memory serves me right, was the first expansion. I could be wrong, don't quote me on anything. Why can't I get this out? Okay, we're gonna have a small cut while I... Okay, that was more difficult than it should have been. <laughs> it had like, like a, it was like sealed on either side. It was very interesting. So we have a Pearl Brook rules of play. Now I have read online uh, that by buying these games and getting these expansions that you want to at least play the main game solo, not solo play, but without expansions at least once, then add an expansion one at a time. It's not something that you just throw all three expansions in and go. So that's why I didn't want to get the fourth game, the fourth expansion or third expansion, the fourth of the games, because I already have quite a bit here. Rule book. This rule book is not as high quality feeling as the first one, um, but it's it's decent. It's a rule book. Can't really complain about a rule book, right? Put that over there. Okay, more advertisement. We only look at that. And here we have assembling the wonders. Now I believe the wonders add uh, monuments as additional victory points that you can uh, use to get points for you assembling your your best little town and this also created a new um, resource of pearls I believe so here we have open you've got some towers here these are those monuments you have a bridge I'm not quite sure what that is but it's worth 15 points um, so let me show you here and these are also double-sided And so this is what attaches to the main board. So this will slide on to the side and links the river right here with the river and the main board. Board is the exact same quality and you have some more actions along the rim here. Okay. So it looks like we have some insert here, custom insert stuff for when I finish uh, getting this all unpacked. And then we've got, uh, so these are actions that replace on the tree. So there are, I believe mini events or something that are under the, under the tree. And then these are uh, replacements for those when you're playing with this expansion to give you more action spots for your worker placement. So there we go. And then we have, I know they added a lot of more meeples to this version. So first, let's take a look at this guy. A lot of silica. So the first one they added, I know, was the frog ambassador. So we've got five colors here. So we've got this red one, so you can get an idea. And here's this brown looking one, right, brown? Get an idea of what those guys look like. Really good. They're really tall. Those are tall, comparatively to. I like that color a lot. Okay, and then we've got. Let's see what else we have. These look like otters. Otters or beavers? What do you say? Otters or beavers? I feel like. Oh my gosh. I feel like they're otters, but they have this tail. I mean, otters have tails. Yeah, what do you guys think? Otters or beavers? Let me know. Okay, let's 
it's, I'm trying to keep things separate so that the expansions are, everything's kind of, oh, so here's even more colors. So we have even more colors here. So I feel like the first colors were the base game colors and now we've got more colors. So we have like this deep purple. And we got some glare here from the lights. So I'm trying to show you without the glare. This pink. That kind of weird brown color. That was the otter color. And then this blue. I like that blue. It's kind of a blue green. That's pretty. That's cool. More colors. I always appreciate more variety, more variants for people to choose from. Because I always pick the same color. I'm always purple. I always like purples. Purple's my player color of choice. So here we have those same, um, those same colors now with their creatures. So this, that looks like a dinosaur. That's a Triceratops. So we have a Triceratops. <laughs> and then we have a little bird. This could be a starling or a raven. I'm gonna say this is a little Tweety bird. These are Tweety birds is what I'm gonna say. And then here we have, this is a Tyrannosaurus Rex <laughs> or a beaver. This is a beaver or a Tyrannosaurus Rex or a platypus one of those things <laughs> and that's all of them so we have okay <laughs> what do you guys think what are they I'd love to know okay and then we have some pearls so these are the resource that oh these are heavy these feel like real pearls Those are great. They got a really good weight to them. They feel like real pearls. Oh no, I'm losing them. Okay, I gotta remind myself. I have a pearl at my foot. I didn't even look to see what was exclusive on this. Let me check real quick. What do you get when it's the collector's edition? I definitely made sure to check the first one. It says components. Um, I don't know if it actually says, oh, it's an otter, platypus, oxytal, and starling. I don't know what an oxytal is. Oxytal. I don't know what that is. I'm not sure. It doesn't actually say on the back of the box here that I can see quickly what is the exclusive, like, collection's edition components. I don't know. Not sure. Hmm. Oh no. Okay. And then we have uh, this is Terry Hare's score pad. This completion I've ever dealt was scored on this. Okay. So then we have a scoreboard. And I don't think the other board had a scoreboard, the other box. So that's cool. Okay. And then we have some art. We have some cards to check out. Some more variety. Okay. We'll just kind of do a quick quick slide through some of these so you can get an idea of the art. We have bridge. And ferry. Harbor. I like that. Ooh, pirate ship. Fairy Ferret. He looks happy. He looks jovial. The Shipwright. And the Pirate. Yeah, these are great. The art is just amazing. The location of the Great Hall. Yeah, I really I really appreciate the art. They really knocked it out of the park. And then we've got this one is sealed. I don't want these I'm not gonna open up, but they're some little guys. I don't, until I get them organized, I don't want them to open up. I don't want to get them mixed placed. 
Okay, so that includes, I didn't put these stickers back. That's the Pearl Brook expansion. So let's check out this last one. Okay, so the last one we have here is the Spire Crest Collector's Edition. Okay. This says, okay, so on this one it says, let me kind of bump in here. The Collector's Edition includes nine discovery cards, three big critters, and four saddles, six moles, six owls, and six lizards, three frog ambassadors. Okay. Let's take a look. Same thing as last time, we have some advertisements. We'll just throw that away. Rules of play, this manual is the exact same as this, the Pearl Brook. Has the contents here. So you can see what those are. The big critters, the ambassadors, rabbit travelers. Nice. And then it talks about the collector's edition. I should have looked at that one for the other one, but I don't know where it is now. Everdell Spire Crest Collector's Edition. Great. Okay, where am I gonna put this stuff? Maybe over there? Oh, it's gonna fall down. Okay, so what do we got here? Look, we got some styrofoam here. Makes me feel like I need to keep that, but I don't. And then we've got another location board. Let's go ahead and fully expand this. So you can see that. If my overhead camera was at a little bit better angle, I would, I would have the overhead camera take a look at it. But unfortunately, right now it's not the best, not the best angle. Okay, so now we got some punch. We got some more threes, uh, something here. Oh, we're losing one. We're losing some guys. So, these said like they're expeditions. I, I don't know much about this expansion. This one, I don't know really. When I was purchasing this, I, I, I looked up, I had already researched Everdell and Pearlbrook. I was like, these are two I'm gonna buy. But when I was at the store and saw that they only had one of each of the collector's edition, I didn't want to risk buying these two, falling in love with the game, and not being able to get the collector's edition of this one readily available. So that's one of the, my buying habits. You can learn from me or judge me on that. So, but this one I don't know much about. But I always enjoy unboxing new stuff. So this has got some big, big meeples. Look at these things. Let's move this out because it's unfocused. Look how big this guy is. Let's get a reference. Let's get a frog because a frog is giant on its own. Grab this frog. And then let's get a squirrel. So you can see the size difference. So this meeple here, this is like an average meeple size. And this guy is a little bigger. Man, look how big this guy is. This moose. I mean, moose are big in general, but I mean, like, this mountain goat. I mean, look at these guys. Those are giant. So we've got a bunch of them. We've got the... Let's move these back. We've got the mountain goat. We've got the moose. We have... Uh, what are these called? Uh, I can't remember what they're called right now. We have a wolf. I remember seeing these at the San Diego Zoo though. We have a wolf. 
it looks like um, some sort of uh, bird, a crow, maybe a rhino. This is this does not belong in the same continent as these guys. And then a bear, a brown bear, and then a condor, a California condor. Yeah, this rhino does not. This does not belong. One of these things doesn't belong. And then here, oh, that's a different bag. This is, that's from Pearlbrook. This is also a Pearlbrook. Okay, and then we have some more stuff. I mean, these things are giant. These look like my daughter will love playing with just these. Those things are giant. Okay, here we have more colors, man, they added more, they added more color variety. Look how much stuff there is. These are little rabbit travelers. Look at their little backpack. Look at their traveling and their walking stick. They're little rabbit travelers. These are so adorable. Where's my favorite color? This one. And this is the, and this is the ugliest color. But it's visible. You can see it. <laughs> Man. So little rabbit travelers. A whole... Look at all of them. Look at all the colors now. You got neon. You, they added a bunch of neon colors. So now you have a plenty of choices of what race you want to play. Okay. Let's check out this one. Look at all these. Okay, the green makes sense if it's a lizard. You got little lizard dudes. And, uh, uh oh. Is that supposed to have a crack on his back? That's not him. This wooden piece has a crack on its back. You probably aren't going to see it very well. So, this is a normal one. This guy's got a little. Oh, it's just extra piece, potentially. Looks like it's wood that didn't get cut off. Yeah. And now I regret doing that. No. Um, we'll try fixing that later. This is not the time for me to be fixing it. But I regret doing what I just did. Okay. And then we've got, we got an owl. Little gray owl, little barn owl. Actually, it looks like a horned owl. I'm not sure though. And then looks like this is a mischievous fox. This looks like a mischievous fox. Look how look at it. He looks like he's up to no good. That's what usually usually foxes are up to no good. Where's the piece that I was screwing with? What did I do with that just now? I, put, I think I put it somewhere. I put it over there. I'm going to keep him out so I can fix him. Fix him. Which generally means break him. Okay, let's put all these back in. I'm probably going to baggy these all up in their own individual baggies. And what's down here? Oh, just ambassadors. We have the frog ambassadors. We're not going to worry about those. They're all the same. Okay, what else we got? What are these? Are these the resources? Okay. I thought for a second it looked like licorice. Oh, these are the saddles. Okay, hold on. We have a moose. I'm going to put a thing on the moose. And then we're going to take this guy. Okay, I had a really bad song come in my head. The uh, Apple Pen. Okay. Now, here we go. Man, look, how, look what I did to this thing. That stinks. I need to fix that. But, other than that, look how cool that is. Look how cute it is. Little <laughs> saddle. 
So they, I don't, you know, obviously I don't know the game mechanic for that at the moment until I learn the game, but I approve. Cuteness level achieved. Put those over there. And this is the flimsiest bag. I don't like using flimsy bags as they tear. They're not the best, and they're also not rigid enough to stay open when you need them to stay open. Okay, so the last bits, we just have very little bit left. I appreciate everyone for staying and watching. If you're still here, I, I know there's a few of you guys, those diehard fans, those guys that uh, are the reason why I keep doing this content. I know you're still watching, because we're coming up on 40 minutes, but... Okay, so this one I looks like I can open. This is not sealed. Oh, well, maybe I was wrong. Okay, we can get it. Okay, so little mini cards. Uh, first off, I love the art on this, this flooding art. Wildfire. Hail. These are like events. These are like really bad events. Yeah, tornado, we definitely don't want that. Man, those are cool. Great art on those. Again, I don't know how I can reinforce how much I appreciate games that have great art. I can appreciate games that have bad art, but let's talk, for example, like Terraforming Mars. That game has awful art. It's still a great game. I love that game. Could you imagine? Do you think Terraforming Mars would be more enjoyable if it had good art? I don't know. If you actually enjoyed looking at what you were looking at. All right, so here we have just more. Again, I'm not going to go through all of these. Um, they all seem to be roughly the same. I like that, that fox. See, the foxes are shifty. Don't you think? Look at those guys. Man, I got a lot of, lot of cards here. See if anything stands out. That is really cool. Well, those are those. I mean, we have, there's so many card arts and every art is just a good piece of art. So it's hard to like go through every single one. You can sit here for hours and, and enjoy each, each piece of art. But we don't have hours. We have to keep you guys entertained. So that's it, nothing hidden, no secret envelopes. So that is Spirecrest. I'm gonna have to spend like an hour cleaning this all up and getting everything reorganized back with. I'm gonna have to rewatch this video again so I know what came and what. That's pretty much what I'm gonna have to do. So that is the unboxing for Everdell, Pearlbrook, and Spirecrest. I would trying to re-grab everything. See if I can do this. Because why not? There we go. Okay, so that is the unboxing of Everdell, Pearlbrook, and Spirecrest. What do you guys think of this game? Have you played Everdell? Let me know in the comment section down below of what you think of this new type of unboxing experience. Again, I'm going, I'm always kind of going for that relaxing, chill out vibe. You know that that's kind of the goal of this channel, something you can put on a secondary monitor and enjoy uh, an unboxing. So again, I appreciate everyone who's taken the time to subscribe, hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm and comment down below. If you wanna help us out, we have a giveaway. We're probably gonna be coming up to the end of the giveaway. So this might be the final entry. I'm hoping it's gonna be one of the final entries for the giveaway. We'll see. But for this one, I'm gonna have you do a hashtag Everdell, just like the title of the game somewhere in your comment section down below. Again, I'm, I'm really liking the way the comment section has been developing and fleshing out uh, where people are 
uh, joining in in conversations and, and adding good quality content with the comments. Uh, so thank you for that. I encourage you to um, start conversations. If you want to talk to me more, I encourage you to follow me on my Instagram. Links are always down in the uh, description down below, as well as join the ugh, join the Discord. You can uh, find the link down there. Send me a message. I will answer pretty much anything you guys need to know. If you have any questions on my collection on board games, and we are going to be fleshing out some more ideas on uh, discussion topics very soon. So again, I appreciate everyone who spent the time to watch this entire episode. I'm going to let you guys go and talk to you all very soon. Oh,